just to be the same as everyone, my friend. Cause you have qualities in your personality that nobody else can possess. And authenticity is the key to your greater destiny to be your best. Cause you are more than what you see. And beautiful Atlanta still on our my nomad life tour and I'm so excited that you two ladies have joined us today now we are going to pop right into this as the founder and CEO of feed we have Miss Deirdre here and we also have Miss Tamika who also works with feed and now I want to find out what was your inspiration to to found feed um, so feed is facilitate educate empower and develop um, and I wanted to build a community of uh, global creative entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So um, I was in corporate for over 20 years um, and when I was um, blessed to do what I really wanted to go into filmmaking, I realized that a lot of times artists um, kind of neglect the business side. Yes. So I wanted to um, travel the world and empower artists mm -hmm. to be more business minded and to realize that the world is their market mm -hmm. and that there is financial success in the product that they're producing, whether it's a film mm -hmm. or themselves as actors or artists or, uh, you know, whatever their art is. Okay, so the whole goal of Feed is to show artists how to create a global platform that also feeds them financially. Yeah, absolutely. So as they're feeding the world with their gift, the world is feeding them <laughs> with financial yeah, absolutely, compensation. Absolutely, absolutely. And, the, and the group of ladies that, um, that we have on the team will feed into those communities so we're not only building the artists we hopefully are empowering and feeding into those communities and building more financial success um, for, for those areas so mutually beneficial everyone Absolutely. I love it I love it so now what is your your goal and your role you believe in assisting with the initiatives of feed well my goal is to um, kind of bring some structure around the digital branding process mm -hmm. um, make it um, you know put it in layman's terms and helping people understand the importance of building a consistent and cohesive brand yes. and also giving them um, the empowerment like to um, kind of demystify the process and they're not afraid of it even if they have to go at it alone but also help them understand the importance of PR and marketing when developing your product so that you can get it out to your market and you know how to determine who your market is so um, it's allowing me to bring what I'm passionate about PR social media branding and just you know pour into people from my passion for it and you know help them to create great businesses so. I love this I love this so we've got two extremely important aspects we've got the PR and the branding which no matter who you are what you are creating or selling or whatever service you're providing you need to brand yourself because people have to know when I look at you I am going to get this or I'm going to get that and then for you showing people how to basically turn your passion into your paycheck right <laughs> while also still giving back to the communities who are assisting you know mm -hmm. helping that paycheck come right. to your hand right. is, is something that truly is, is not only necessary but it helps everyone become global citizens so then now if you could say what your true passion is if you had to put it into words what would you say your passion is um, I have several. I have a passion for writing, telling okay. stories, unique stories. Mm -hmm. um, but I also have a, a passion for people. I, I love building relationships, mm -hmm. um, and I and I like sharing. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's it's me um, getting the information or you know um, get it, giving the information out to other people. So I, I think that's what builds communities. Mm -hmm. um, so I come from a big family, so I'm used to that tribe concept. Yes. So the village. I, yes, yes. So I just I really 
really have a passion on um, building those communities mm -hmm. and especially with the, the Hollywood industry. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to realize that uh, Hollywood was not necessarily developed for, you know, everybody to be um, a part of it. Mm -hmm. And so we can we can build our own communities mm -hmm. and be successful, be creative, yes. you know, and also to feed into those communities to help build up help other people. So um, And then now you won it was some you know, this little award. And what was that? What was that that award? Sundance or something? What Yes, our film Can You Wind the one uh, the Sundance World Audience Award in twenty eleven. World Audience, yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. World Audience Award. I love it. I love it. And so now what was the inspiration behind behind that, that film? Um, the inspiration came from our executive producer Ishmael Ntubosi, who's from Rwanda, um, and it's a story about uh, the genocide, but more so how the country moved forward, um, and they, they built that, that policy of forgiveness um, in order for them to, to move along. And it's really beautiful because it really tells the true stories of what happened, and I think you would see um, Africa and Rwanda people in a different light, that you, you know, you're not shown that side of, of the country or those people. Okay. Um, and I keep saying those people, our people. Our people. Um, so it's, it's beautiful in that sense that you really get to connect mm -hmm. with the stories and the people um, as they are going through this atrocity. You see their life. Okay. And so then now, in terms of passion, PR, marketing, branding, social media, that's your thing. You are very good at it, if I do say so myself. So now, how would you say you've taken your passion and developed skills? Because passion is awesome, but you need skills to push it. So how would you say you've done that? Um, that's a great question. I think um, just my natural ability as a writer. You know, I was a born writer. I, you know, started have been writing a journal ever since I was nine. Um, so my my um, love for writing and storytelling um, helped to. Um, kind of, you know, set the foundation for how you develop brands mm. and the importance of telling a story so that it's um, relevant, it's engaging, and you know, you, you start to build your audience by now you can use social media to test the temperature of who your audience really is. Yes. Um, so I think just the, the writing aspect <laughs> definitely made everything else just easy for me. You know. Okay. And then now I'm going to repeat that so that you guys can hear that because I've never heard it said like that but use social media to test the temperature of who your audience actually is because that will truly show you how you market, who you really should be focused on and marketing to. That was, that was good right there. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> yes, yes, that is why. You need, you need them on your team. You need the best. So then now, how do you ladies use technology in, in an effort to never settle? Because sometimes using your passions, people feel as though you have to settle. But the, the truth of the matter is, is now with how technology is set up, you don't have to settle. So how do you ladies use technology to ensure you never settle? Well, I'm a techie. I have a computer science degree, yes. and um, as I said, I worked in IT for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. But the key, um, and what I took with me on this new journey is, I use technology all the time, even in corporate, um, to build relationships. Yes. So I had a global team that was, you know, in three, four different countries. So we used the Skypes, we used um, all different kind of technologies to communicate and to stay connected. Yes. So for me, and, and being a global strategist, that's one of the things I use technology for every day is to stay connected with yes. those people yes, yes. Uh, around the, the globe who I have a relationship with and I'm trying to build um, relationships with. So I think it's key for, for that. Mm -hmm. And then I use technology to create my opportunities. Um, I don't, I think technology gives you the permission you need to do whatever you, it is you want to do. If you want to get a message out there, get it out there. You don't need someone to say, well, I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. um, I also use technology to create limitless borders for how we service our clients. We don't have, we're not just confined to one area of the world. We can we serve as a global community. And so that's how technology assists us in being great at what we do. I love it. I love it. You guys have no idea.
you how much this conversation has has helped me in terms of thinking even so much as who's my target audience? Who are they? What do they look like? And then to honor where a where we come from because everyone has a story and to be able to articulate and showcase that story on so many stages and platforms as you guys have, I cannot wait to see what else Feed has for us and hopefully <laughs> we'll see me working with Feed in the future. <laughs> wink wink. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want to thank you guys so, so much for joining us on this My Nomad Life Tour. Stay tuned, but now before we go, where can we find you guys? I am First Lady at First Lady of PR on Twitter and at T. Morrison Agency on Twitter and T. Morrison Global on Instagram. Okay. And you can find us at Feed the Collective, sorry, feed-thecollective.com. And um, for myself, it's Deatra L. Harris. keep up with this you can definitely find me also at Alicia Reese. I look forward to seeing you guys and I can't wait. Bye! Just to be the same as everyone, my friend Cause you have quite